Both were given the rules earlier. Uh, when a good, clean fight, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. A 20 fight comeback. And there is the big left hook by Jerry Cooney. Not landing that time. Obviously, that cross arm defense is a trademark of George's training. You touched the key word there, Alex. Balance. Something that uh, Gil Clancy has said that he really wanted to work on with Jerry Cooney. Oh, there's a left from George Foreman. Let's take a look at the mouthpiece uh, being knocked out. That jab by George Foreman. Then the second jab behind it. And Jerry Cooney's mouthpiece came out. Good left to the body by Cooney, and then he came upstairs. and Without the mouthpiece for the remainder of the round. Well, there's that jab of Foreman again getting in. George, we have to say right here, and not just in contrast to Jerry Cooney, George is a little bit quicker than he has been in his 19 fights of his comeback. When you look at, oh, and there's a couple left and a right to the body. Wait a minute, I am not supposed to be on the ropes. Let me get out of here, and he did. Before Foreman was able to take advantage of it. But again, Jerry in a corner. And that time, Jerry got a little left hook in, and he wobbled Big George. Wait a minute, I am not supposed to be on the ropes. Let me get out of here, and he did. Before Foreman was able to take advantage of it. But again, Jerry in a corner. And that time, Jerry got a little left hook in, and he wobbled Big George. Later in the round, watch the inside left hook by Cooney. Not there, and not there, but there. And that punch moved George Foreman. The final 10 seconds of the first round. There was a big right to the ribs by George. <laughs> well, George has appeared to be bored through these past 19 prior fights. He just, not in this one. He oh, came there's in. a good left counter by Cooney. Oh, and there's a good right lead by George Foreman. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it definitely scores. Ooh. Oh, and another right by Foreman. And Jerry Cooney has his left hanging a little low. Obviously. And there is the big roundhouse left, the trademark punch of George Foreman. Obviously. And there is the big roundhouse left, the trademark punch of George Foreman. the left come up and slice the left and Jerry Cooney's in big trouble he's ready to go and there he goes Two, three. It was the left that sliced between the gloves of Jerry Cooney there it is right there you saw it lift the chin and now it's just target practice and Jerry Cooney really showing a lot of will just staying on his feet he's out on his feet and let me say something about Jerry Cooney in the Holmes fight and the Sphinx fight, when he was hurt that way, when his legs buckled, now let's see if he's learned anything about how to survive, because he's got a minute and eight seconds left. Oh, and that's it! And I don't think, hey, this fight's over! This fight's over! George Foreman blows away Jerry Cooney in the second round. This is the result. This is the finish of the fight, and Jerry Cooney really, for all intents oh, and purposes, man. a left uppercut, there's the right, it's all over. You know, George Foreman throws a lot of unorthodox punches. That time he threw an uppercut, he got out over his lead foot, and he threw a perfect uppercut, well, walking in, in with it. Yeah, keep in mind, Alex, it's against a man who's really out on his feet. I mean, Jerry Cooney showed a lot of gameness in just trying to continue. Again, George comes in for the kill. But the thing I was impressed about, Dan, was the accuracy of Foreman. Jerry Cooney goes down hard. And right behind him. Boom. And you really have to wonder if the strategy.